and welcome back to another video. So some of you guys actually requested that I would do some more stuff in Pencil Sai and yeah, um, depending on how well this goes because I actually have a few things changed a bit in order for this setup to work. So let's just jump in. As you can see, I have an illustration of Masaki right here or a sketch. We'll just quickly go through this. Um, not too sure how well the mic levels are gonna be. The mic is right here, so we'll see how well this goes because it's really close to my face. Um, so this was the initial sketch, really quick. Um, sketch, I was gonna do this for Valentine's Day, but we'll see when I get this done. T technically Valentine's Day is in two days from today, um, but I do have another thing planned because Valentine's Day is actually carrot day for us, so... That's also another thing. So after I did the sketch, I did a cleaner sketch to do um, pretty, like pretty much to prepare it for painting. So yeah, I definitely don't prefer to do line art nowadays. So um, a cleaner sketch is definitely more suitable for me. I'm picking kind of a warm light brown color for the background just because I know I want to be using kind of pinks, whites, and blues for the flowers so I didn't want to lean it too blue or too pink initially. So let's just get started. I hope you guys can see my layers right here. So I have my rough sketch, my clean sketch. I'm actually going to duplicate my clean sketch and preserve this one so that just in case I botch this up I have something I can go back to. And yeah so I am going to lay down all my base colors on this layer and then after when I'm done I'm probably just going to merge everything and we can start painting. So yeah let's just start. Um, I just hope the files for the um, screen recording don't get corrupt because that was kind of the issue I had with um, this particular SD card because I lost a certain file. And I got it back through a dumb method. <laughs> so I'm just adding the base colors in first. And I try to make sure that the skin is mostly um, colored very cleanly. Because I don't want to touch the skin too much. Because I would like things to be as blended as possible. And all the colors just established. So I can pretty much focus on rendering everything else. Some of you guys ask me how I pick colors and a lot of the time it's just like trial and error. There's color combinations that I just like in general from seeing color palettes in the past and some of it's because like I just know what colors I like to put together. So I don't have a light source. As you can see my coloring is kind of willy-nilly. Technically I'm having the light source coming from the right which doesn't make sense for the hand. Um, so let's change this more. Did I say what I was drawing? I'm drawing my Osi Masaki. <laughs> I just really want to draw, like I've been drawing flowers a lot. I think I showed this on an Instagram live stream, so I can just definitely show this because it's not exactly a secret. Um, but yeah, I've been working on this one as well. And I really like this one, um, but I still have a lot of things to render still, especially in this area and this area. But yeah, so I've been in a flower um, coloring mood or rendering mood, even though it's... I find it hard to render flowers, especially accurately, so let's see how well this goes. Now I forgot to change this to multiply, and I'm actually going to make this a little bit lighter. Like this, just because it makes everything look softer, um, in my opinion. So, yeah, and it'll be make it'll make things easier for me to transition colors. So, um, like this, because Masaki's eyes are green, I don't have to go back into the sketch itself to change the color per se. I can just take this and go underneath, and that'll change the color to more an appropriate color, which is green in this case. I feel like this is going to take me quite a while to render, depending how much I'm willing to let go, I guess. Whoops, okay. I 
I just do it one way and it's the way that I understand the most. Because I think I mentioned this in the past, but the reason why I started doing digital paintings because I actually don't like doing line art and because a lot of the refining comes from um, the actual painting itself I don't really have to have like such clean line art I can get away with um, making things a little bit more messy and a little bit less refined and I don't feel like constricted by the lines like I feel like whenever I do line art I feel like I'm just coloring a coloring book which for me is less fun, even though the process is a little bit more streamlined for me. Because I can knock out, I think, a chibi, like a full color chibi, in maybe two hours or so. But if I were to paint it, it'll definitely take me a lot longer. But I feel like I like the end result a lot more. Just because it's softer, a little bit more painterly. Okay. Um, we'll see how this goes because I might have to darken up these shadows quite a bit. Now this looks really dull and I don't mind that for shadows usually but I like to add sometimes blues or other purples into the hair a little bit. And usually on the like on the brighter side or the um, side where the light source usually is, I tend to add like pinks, a little bit of orangey yellows, or any lighter color from the color scheme, so that we could introduce other colors. I just think it makes it, like the a little bit more interesting. I usually like putting the highlight right against where the shadow is. I feel like it just like intensifies the shine of it. I don't do it for the entire thing, but usually for like the main part of the shine for the hair, I tend to have the shadow and the highlight immediately touching. Just for that like, I think it's like an immediate curve downwards for the hair. Yeah, okay, so let's do the flowers. Now in general, I kind of want a really pale base the majority of these so let's see how well i can do this because a lot of these smaller flowers down here are close like they're supposed to be like either white or any kind of lighter pastel um color because i think some of them were maybe even like peach or yellow so let's see how we can do this the roses um i think i just need to pick out some shapes to add to this just because I have too much concentrated pink here, and then not enough over here. And then we can shift these to more of a, like a baby blue for a lot of these. And then we can shift some of these to purple because I believe some of them are purple. I don't think this looks actually that pretty together. We'll have to see. So usually for flowers like this, I will use a multiply tool to add shadows to everything just to make things consistent. And then um, sometimes I will add highlights using the addition layer just to have a stronger light source and it kind of makes the, um, the color scheme very glowy and bright. Um, so I like to establish that if I want to at the very beginning so like when I start painting it's kind of like already knocked out. I feel like it kind of needs the dark green for this. It reads more like flowers. <laughs> now this is when you can really play around with the lighting and stuff. So I'm going to make this a lot brighter up here, this kind of corner. And because he's going to be, do I want him to be a little bit backlit instead? Hmm. So I'm just looking at to make sure that I can merge these. So now I've merged my clean sketch and my colors together, as you can see. Now I'm gonna add an additional multiply layer and we're gonna think if I wanna make this actually backlit. Um, maybe a little too dark like that. Of 
backlit. We'll just make it a stronger light source maybe. See, do I want it softer or do I want it to be more of a darker lighting situation? I mean, this is what it kind of looked like if I did it like this. Be like the light shining this way. And then you could have those little like dust particles. It's kind of cute, but I don't know if I just want it to be like less dark. So I could make it lighter like what I just did right now and make it more saturated. Like that. Let's just leave it like this. Okay, so now that I've merged everything onto one layer, like this. Uh, actually, let's see. I'm not going to merge the background layer actually. It'll make it easier for me to render everything else. So let's just start with his face and then we can start to render everything else afterwards because I mostly like drawing faces that I kind of want to focus I have the main focus to be on the face usually so like I said the majority of this will be just me cleaning up a lot of these areas and as you can see I will just kind of change the density and the min size a lot. Um, right now the min size is fairly um, not tapered I guess just because I am kind of blocking stuff in still but usually when I'm working on a little bit of the hair and the flowers I will change the min size so that I can get a sharper tip. I might continue this at night though, because if it gets a little too sunny, it'll be hard for me to keep the screen as visible. I'm usually working on this at night's a lot easier, just because like it focuses on the screen because of how dark my room is. Okay, so it's been a few hours. I actually haven't worked on this for a little bit, but now I can continue and I actually don't know where I left off. So let's just quickly start to render a few things. I think I was just rendering the face for the most part. So these kinds of drawings usually take me a lot longer. <laughs> So let's see how long this takes me to actually finish. Hopefully I'll put like a timestamp somewhere or a thing that shows how long I actually spent on this because I find it funny that some of you guys feel like the full edited version is actually how long I spend on the drawings which isn't the case. Okay let's quickly do like his upper portion and then we can focus on the clothes a bit after just because I feel like I, if I keep jumping around this is going to take a lot longer than it should okay let's really just focus in on the hair I'm actually really excited to do this side of the hair because I feel like this side's going to be really fun to render because there's minimal colors as well as the shadows Kind of make the shapes a little bit less prominent in terms of like the shapes of the shadows and stuff i also want to draw something really quick as well so who knows i might finish this tomorrow instead um just because i think 
tomorrow june will update not update upload they will upload his um what am i saying his digital not digital what am i saying his solo album which i'm super excited for and that like just teaser clip for it super pretty and there's something i really want to draw from it so we'll see because i would like to help promote as much as i can for juni solo because he deserves a lot more recognition than he already has and people sleep on his vocals, so I, I want to do my part and help out, so... So on the camera for you guys, you probably see it very red. Hopefully it's not... I feel like that's like the problem with using um, this kind of um, program to record or... Um, film because um, I can really only add blue or add red I feel like to change the color balance there's no way for me to make it more like orangey yellow sometimes unless like depends if I like shut off all the lights and then turn on a very warm lamp most likely like for my ASMR videos I can get them very like orange but I feel like that's because the lights are off and I can turn on my very warm lamp but for this, it just seems like it's more red. See, look like looks like it's a really big head <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> it's coming out pretty. I feel like I don't know. Every time I draw a masaki very prettily, 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 it's a success in my brain. He's definitely my comfort character. I just, I just like drawing cute, cute people. I feel like we should see more of this side. My stomach's making weird noises. I don't know what I eat. Hopefully you guys can't hear that. Hopefully the mic's like far enough away that you can't hear that. Okay, so one thing I do see a shape is that I want this to have a deeper fold, like this, kind of make it look like the sleeves folding up and around this area. Mm. Okay, so let's work on his collar area first. So we have his necklace, or I guess it's like... So what's around his neck is actually just a... It's supposed to be just a really thin chain. And it holds his keys, basically, because he's a little bit forgetful. So he keeps his, I believe his bike key, and then his um, house key. And the shop key, I think. I usually draw him with two keys, but maybe it's just the shop and the house key. So because it snowed like a lot recently, or like the past maybe week or so, or I guess like even the beginning of January when we got like 30 centimeters of snow that one nightfall, um, the little gap between the two driveways, there's like a lining of snow that's kind of high so our neighbors can't exactly like cut across and use our whole 
driveway along with their driveway just to park their car. Yeah, maybe I'll finish this tomorrow. I have no will to do the flowers, to be honest. I'll just block in a little bit more of these areas. Maybe so you know how I want to do potentially the clothing folds here. So I feel like I need to either draw June or um, start working on the rest of the commissions. Because I think I have six people to draw. Technically four commissions, but six people to draw. Okay, so now that it's the two, um, hopefully the angle of this is a little bit better. I did remember to zoom in so I could have the camera a little bit farther away from my face. <sighs> yeah, and my sinuses are acting up again, so I do apologize if I cut out certain parts of the audio, maybe mid-sentence. I'm trying to um, get rid of any kind of weird bodily noises, like sniffling or sneezing, so yeah. Um, I can't control that. It's just really cold in my area and in my house, like my parents' house, it's very um, hard to regulate the temperature. So my room gets the warmest, the easiest, um, while my brother's room gets the coldest and my parents get a pretty like decent temperature, but we pretty much raise it up until a temperature that's most comfortable for my parents, I believe, or like the main floor. And then the rest is kind of like fair game. So this is why I'm wearing a sweater right now because even though it's sunny and technically the heat kind of fluctuates on and off, um, my hands are cold and everything. So I feel chilly, I feel cold. I have a runny nose, so I'm gonna have to deal with that. <laughs> okay, so I literally just got freaked out at the moment just because I heard like, you know the dial tone when you make a call to somebody on your phone and it's just like trying to go through um i heard that pretty close and i don't know why because my phone's not on my brother's sleeping and then um, i know the home phone or the house phone isn't being in use so that kind of startled me and i got a little concerned just in case like you know if someone's in the house or something but apparently it was just the neighbors so they have those cars that you know do you have like the Bluetooth to your phone to answer calls and stuff? But their volume must be super loud because they were backing out of their driveway and I could hear it through their car, I guess, pretty loudly. But it literally didn't sound like it was um, coming from outside. Like that's how clear the sound was. I swear like my neighbors like the volume very loud for no apparent reason. I feel like my dad's kind of the same way sometimes. But his isn't as loud. But still like loud nonetheless. I don't know why I'm rendering these as like balls or like orbs. I feel like these are supposed to be flowers. Everything just like happened at once. Got a phone call, stuff started crashing. I had to go change the SD card to make sure nothing got corrupted because that card is known to get clips and stuff corrupted, but hopefully um, they still work. I did double check, but um, hopefully it stays working, I guess. Also vary the size of your folds so that they don't look too repetitive. Because as soon as they look too repetitive, then that's when they look a little less natural. This doesn't look natural regardless, so I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Contain a 
work on the side of the sleeve and I don't think I'm gonna put too many folds because I think that was my mistake from the other one I added too many and they got a little bit too confusing this so it looks like the seam here let's add a little bit of a darker color i just don't know if this would be more on the outside Surely do some fabric studies again, got more delicate um, fabrics and a few fabrics that are a little bit different material like sheer fabric or like leather, probably be good practice to do that because I feel like I have troubles with um, certain kind of clothing folds and I think delicate ones are ones with super thick material like leather jackets and stuff, I would have a harder time doing the clothing folds. I'm already struggling with Masaki's sweater, even though usually I, I feel like I'm usually okay um, rendering it. It might be because I'm tired or low-key given up on this one, but that's okay. It's okay, I can, I can push through. <laughs> okay, so let's work on the flowers. I'm gonna actually do a quick uh, little experiment of rendering it on the left side just because there is a little bit of flowers here i have an idea i've done something similar with masaki before where i did like a blinking thing so i could definitely do a tiny animation with him blinking so i might do that off screen and maybe show you guys at the end because i'm not sold on his eyes and i think it'd be cute if it's him blinking just so that closing the eyes would be less focused i guess if that makes sense and take a different color. I'm going to add something a little bit more saturated. But I think these are supposed to be white technically. So we'll lean it towards pink a little bit. Just because I think the overall color scheme is going to be a little bit warmer for the flowers. I'm going to add a little bit of green. So I need to pick up a little bit of this. Okay, I think I'm gonna make this easier on myself and add a multiply layer on top, find an appropriate color and do like some of the basic shadows because I don't, I don't, I really don't wanna spend too much time on. These realistic, absolutely not. These are very, very stylized and very simple and I'm just focusing mostly on the form and the contour lines on each of these flowers. So we're going to slowly move our way down. I might want to add a little bit more red into this one like I did with this one, but this one's appearing a little bit too monochromatic so I might have to add in some of this purple into some areas, but um, yeah, that's it. this is just how I'm approaching the flowers for this one. Usually I would try to render them a little bit more cleanly but I am not feeling this one especially because these flowers are very small and I actually don't know a lot of the forms of these flowers there's like random blue petals in here purple petals these pink rose like flowers and then these little yellow puppy or I guess they look purple in this area but they're supposed to be like white or yellow I think or maybe there's a mixture of both 